Hey everyone, in today's episode, we're going to learn how to use the sharpening and blurring parameters in Corona Render. This parameter can help us to control the sharpening and blurring effects in our renders, similar to what we can find in applications like Photoshop. To activate these parameters, we need to enable the sharpening blurring option in the Corona Virtual Frame Buffer under the Post section. We can also activate it by pressing F10 in our keyboard. To open the render setup and in the camera tab, we can find the sharpening and blurring option. Let's start with the first parameter, sharpen amount. With this parameter, we can recover the definition in post-processing. Corona uses the color changes in the pixels to achieve this. The higher the value, the greater the intensity of the sharpening effect. But we need to be careful High values can result in unrealistic images. Next, we have the sharpening radius parameter. This allows us to control the area that affects the pixels being sharpened in our image. For example, by modifying the radius to 5, we can see how the intensity of the sharpening changes, even when the sharpen amount value remains the same. Lastly, we have the blur radius option. With this parameter, we can control the amount of blurring in the image. It is really useful when we use it with low values. This can help us to reduce the amount of noise in the image. A common question is which values to use. The default values works really well most of the time, but it is important to experiment with each of our renders. Since these values work based on the pixels in the image, the result is going to be different depending on the render and the preference we have. Hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to click the like and subscribe button. If you have any questions, let me know in the comment section below. And thank you for watching.